And Becky with the good hair, I hope you learned your lesson, boy. You need to shut your goddamn mouth. You ain't a man amongst men. I don't want to hear shit else from you. You can pass out weed. I heard uh, Yuck Mouth say it on the podcast. You cool because you showed up and passed out weed. See, that's what I'm talking about. We got to get stupid ass niggas like you out of our culture. That don't mean you cool, bitch. You should have been passing out book bags, you dumb motherfucker. You should have been passing out some hope to these children. But no, what you want to spread the fuck around is that you some type of tough nigga. Call me Brown. Brother Brown, Brother Brown. You've been ranting for about five days now. Uh, your cry for help, your need for attention is works. I heard your Instagram following me has grown over 30,000 the last handful of days since you had my dick, I mean my name in your mouth. Um, but don't be fooled by this new attention, bro. All these people that are gassing you and putting a battery in your back, all the platforms that are picking you up, didn't give a fuck about you last week, bro. They don't love you. They just love the drama <clears throat> and the old the old jokes you're saying. They don't love you. They don't love me. They don't know no one. They love a drama. That's it. But come on all the smoke. Come talk your shit face to face. You got a story to tell, obviously. You're hurt. I mean, like I said, you, you can you can play it off with humor, but you're hurt. And I get it. I mean, but come on the show. Talk that shit. Tell your story face to face. There's no bigger, better platform than ours. You can say what you want. We're an award-winning platform. We don't tear down black men. Because you're the butt of the joke. Now that's that that's what you're on. You think we're tearing down black men, but if you actually watch the show, we empower everybody. That's what our thing is. So come on the show, man. We'll be in Atlanta next month. Come to you. Um shit. If me and you got a box before, during, or after, then shake hands to get this shit done. You know I'm always with the shit. But come tell your story, man. Get that shit up off your chest. And you attacking Stephen A. Smith. He's almost 60 years old. He don't want to fight you. But I ain't got no issues. Like I said, I'm with the shit. So you could bring your hookah. You could bring that front seat of your car that you're always in, ranting about. Make yourself feel comfortable. Whatever you need to feel comfortable. But come on all the smoke and tell your story, my nigga. We'll be in Atlanta next month. Let me know what's up.